tired of playing on the same boring 6-9 build that everybody else uses on the game? Don't worry because in today's video I'll be showing you guys the brand new meta build in NBA 2K23. This build can not only get it done offensively but it also gets the job done on the defensive end as well. I do not want to hold you guys for much longer let's get right into it all right so now that we are finally in the builder it is very key that we make the position of this player a shooting guard we will be making it the height of 6 6 with the lowest weight and the wingspan being 6 10 just enough so we can get the 92 3 and now first for finishing we'll be giving ourselves an 86 driving dunk for gold limitless takeoff and silver posterizer and a 75 standing dunk for bronze rise up to get faster standing dunk animations we will be going with a 70 driving layup and a 75 close shot just enough for us to get gold giant slayer and silver fearless finisher. So a lot of you guys may ask why 86 driving dunk. I've gone with an 86 driving dunk because I feel like that's all you need. All you need in this game is quick drops off one because I'm not a flashy player y'all. I just, I just do what I got to do to get to a bucket for me. That, this right here, that's the only dunk you guys need. Quick drops off one. So 86 driving dunk. Is all you need you do not need 92 you get enough you get gold limitless takeoff and you get silver posterizer that's literally all you guys need including quick drops off one now let's get into the shooting we will be going with a 92 three-pointer which will be giving us gold limitless range gold agent threes and gold blinders we will also be giving ourselves a 77 mid-range and a 73 free throw this leaves us with 24 shooting badges now the best part of this build has to be its ability to shoot the ball. Nobody wants to be out here looking like Andre Roberson, you feel me? If you know, you know. Roberson for three. But we have 24 shooting badges being 6-6. Six, six. We get gold limitless range, gold blinders, and gold agent threes, y'all. Those are the main three key badges that you need to shoot consistently on this game, y'all. Look at what I'm doing. Oh, like, where's he going? And y'all know what color that is. Let me know if you guys want the custom jump shot. Let me know if I should drop a video on it down below. Do not mind giving y'all the sauce, you feel me? Who would I be if I was to tuck the sauce from y'all? Feel me? The jump shot is so consistent. It's so smooth. Like, you should not miss. You should not miss. Look, I'm shooting step backs on, the, on, on, the, on these kids. Feel me? This build is fast. I can still shoot right between pockets. You feel me? Like, that's a tough shot. And it was open. And if you guys are wondering what dribble pull up I have on, I have on normal. With this dribble pull up, you guys have to make sure you guys are holding the RT button if you are on Xbox. And I think it's R2 on PlayStation. But that's it for shooting. Let's get right into the playmaking. And now for playmaking, we'll go to 89 ball handle, which is just enough for us to get De'Aaron Fox and Tracy McGrady size up along with quick first step Hall of Fame. For passing accuracy, we will be going with a 75 so we can unlock LeBron James passing style. And we will be going with a 76 speed with ball so we can get an extra plus one playmaking badge. Now overall for playmaking, we get quick first step Hall of Fame and a 75 passing accuracy. And something that I do to speed up my passing animations is that I run needle threader on at least silver or bronze. This will help get your passes through tighter spaces and it will get the pass it will get the passes there faster than it would normally would so i definitely would recommend you guys run this badge if you can depending on your guys badge layout and other than that let's get right into the defense for defense and rebounding we will be giving ourselves a 90 steal so we can get gold interceptor and silver glove and a 75 perimeter defense so we can get bronze challenger and bronze clamps now you guys may call me crazy for having no interior defense or no block or anything like that in 2k23 all you need is steal a little bit of steal and enough perimeter defense for you not to get cooked you feel what i'm saying and 75 and a 90 steal is perfectly fine you feel what i'm saying and personally i don't really have a need to go in the paint i usually have my center rotate for me and go to the paint not go to his man so it also depends on who you play with and stuff like that i highly recommend you guys tweak the build as much as possible to whatever fits your play style and let's jump right into the physicals we'll be giving ourselves a 77 speed which will make us fast when we do not have the ball in our hands and an 86 acceleration which will make our drill moves much more faster especially with us having quick first step hall of fame lastly we will be giving ourselves a 75 vertical because that is the minimum that we need to have an 86 driving dunk and we'll be giving ourselves a 90 stamina because i don't really dribble that much to even have a 99 stamina and plus we have the gatorade which is plus four so realistically we have a 94 stamina 
Now when it comes to selecting your takeovers, I usually run limitless range double or I use limitless range and easy blow buys. But this is all preference so you could do whatever you guys want with this. We have finally reached the ending of the video and I just want to say thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Splash and I'm out. Peace.